In this next section, I would just like to really go through some of the foods that some of you may be familiar with. I'm certainly familiar with all of them, but that, and that might evoke memories or might give you the idea that you might want to try them someday. In the beginning, I mentioned with the Spanish bringing along um, and introducing, and in actual fact, not just the Spanish, the Portuguese as well, they have fish escovitch or escovitch fish, which is really a, a seasoned fish which is deep fried very quickly. So it's still juicy, but quite dry. And then over the top, there's a very hot, spicy vinaigrette that's put on it, which is uh, uh, comprised of um, onions, sweet peppers, and scotch bonnet peppers. Scotch bonnets are our really big thing. Very, very hot. Some say hotter than the Indian ghost chilies, but they're incredibly hot. And then that's usually then spooned over the fish and that just sinks into the fish and just giving it a very, very spicy texture, a very spicy taste. Usually with fish, like done in this way, that's usually done on Fridays because Caribbeans tend not to cook on a Friday. They tend to just have fish or have takeaways or just something that is pre-cooked the day before. Fridays and sort of religious holidays, Easter and anything to do with that special occasions. Again, if you've got family members who are coming from a distance, they always like fish. And it's the kind of thing because of the, the hot vinaigrette and the way that it's cooked, it, it can actually, in the fridge, it can last for several days, really. And it, it's usually eaten with your fingers and you can just pull it apart. You've got to be careful of the bones, though. But a very, very, very popular dish in uh, Jamaica. The next dish was what was brought over by the um, West Africans was the ackee. Ackee is actually a fruit. And it's usually a closed, um, like a bulb, which then opens up. And as you can see, you've got the little black bits here. You then pull away the flesh, take away the little black bobbles on the bottom and pull away the flesh. And then you're left with the, um, the yellow fruit. And ackee, as you can see here, it's quite different. In Jamaica, it would be a lot harder and a lot more together. But it looks and sort of has the texture of um, scrambled egg. That's the best way to describe it. It's quite bland in its taste. And that's why you add um, something like salted codfish to go with it, which will bring out the flavours. You've got a little bit of um, scallion. And scallions are what you know as spring onions. But in the Caribbean, scallions are usually bigger and the onion part is usually quite large and then there's again a little bit of scotch bonnet pepper in there some sweet peppers which are just your ordinary peppers and that's just sort of really sauteed in a pan and then just brought together now with aki in jamaica is quite plentiful but over here it's quite expensive to buy as you can only buy it by the tin aki is a great breakfast i mean a lot of people if you know if they can afford to do so will have that for breakfast Fish also is quite a, a, a big breakfast item, I mean, which would be quite strange to some people because most will be used to um, cereals or toast. But in the Caribbean, you can have also, which was also brought from West Africa, um, Callaloo, which is quite a strange sounding name, but it's a leafy vegetable, green vegetable, very similar to spinach or to kale depending on what you like. That's cooked in a similar way. It's just sauteed with onions, a little bit of scotch bonnet, seasoned with a powdered all season and added sweet peppers. Also with the callaloo, you can add salt fish just to, to show that how diverse the dish can be. This also can be had at breakfast. It, they can be eaten anytime, or it can be done as a side dish. And sometimes it's added to soup like pepper pot soup, which is a very hot, spicy soup, which is made with the callaloo. With, also, with both of these dishes, if you have them for breakfast, you can have, which I've got here with the jerked chicken, fried dumplings, which are just soft, like dough-like balls, and they're crunchy on the outside and very soft in the middle. And you eat it as an accompaniment with the acum saltfish or with your callaloo. And also, which is served with a green banana, which is boiled, which is very flavoursome. I've got some green banana here. Now, these bananas never go yellow, they're green. So that's what they are. And they can be boiled in their skins or without. And they go with a multitude of dishes. You can have that as just a side dish with a meat dish. You can have it as a vegetable with a meat dish. Or you can have it with your aki or with your callaloo as a breakfast dish. Also, plantains or plantains, as we say, we say plantains. 
Plantains, again, are from the banana family. Um, it depends how you like them cooked. Here, I've just got them golden brown. As they were quite soft, the sugar's release, so they're kind of caramelised, so they're quite sweet tasting. Again, you would have them as a side dish with any kind of food, eat them on their own. Or again, you can have them with your ackee and saltfish or your callaloo. These are really popular dishes in the Caribbean and, and most kids love plantains and they're just done in a, they're just shallow fried and they're just eaten whole. And all of these things are now quite widely available tinned. You can get fresh callaloo here, but it's not really that prevalent. Um, with the, the British, when they came here, they tended to bring a lot more of their baked goods. Um, so they introduced more cakes and sweets and uh, uh, confectionery. And the Caribbeans have a love of confectionery and cakes, all manner of cakes, coconut cake, banana cake, carrot cake, all kinds of sweet and hard, soft and hard candies, and you know, the really heavy fruit cake that they have at Christmas. So, you know, that they really do have a love of sweet things. Also with the British coming, you had the Scottish influences because they were also slave owners and had plantations with the introduction of oats. Caribbeans love porridge any kind of porridge. Now again with plantains, as I've got here and here, you can add that, you can make um, a plantain porridge, you can add that into your porridge. You can have a green banana porridge, peanut porridge, ordinary oats porridge. It's done very differently, it's never ever cooked with water, it's always done on a stove with milk and then finished off with like an evaporated or a condensed milk which, and, and then added with lots of um, like uh, mixed spices, some nutmeg, some cinnamon, vanilla, you know, so it takes about 45 minutes to cook on the stove, but it is, as I'm sure, is absolutely delicious. Also from Africa, the, um, the Africans brought their jerk dishes. And as you can see here, I've got jerk chicken. Most people have heard of jerk chicken or jerk pork, and it, it seems that now you can jerk everything, as it were. Here I have, a homemade jerk spice, which is then, all of our foods are marinated or seasoned as we call it. And our foods are then, um, they're all rubbed into the chicken or into the pork or into the fish, usually for a 24 hour period before it's cooked. And then when they're cooked, they're put on a, a wood grill, which is mainly wood with pimento, um, to, to flavour it, and then it's cooked over slowly over a, a, over a wood fire um, to, to give it that smoky taste, and also to bring out all the sweetness in the ingredients. Which there is molasses, there is sugar in there, there is pimentos. I think I've got a few pimentos here, and these are used in all areas of Caribbean cooking, not just um, for jerk. You can put it in with your rice dishes and so on. Lots of different kinds of vegetables, yams, um, which again are West African, sweet potatoes, um, again, which are just cooked in all kinds of dishes. Yams, dumplings, not the fried dumplings. You've got like a, a flour and water dumpling, which is boiled, and you can have it with your green banana and your yam, and that's called hard food, because basically it's hard, it's not a soft, eaten food. So th these are other dishes that you would have maybe with oxtail or with a stewed chicken type dish. Um, even with the boiled bananas as a breakfast, you might have one with either your ackee or your callaloo, as well as the fried dumplings. So, you know, again, all the dishes are very, very versatile and will go with anything. The jerk and the, 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 the jerk chicken and the jerk pork are really, when people go to the islands, are the dishes that they look forward to the most. Um, they can be very hot and spicy or not, but unless you've had real jerk chicken, which is, this is, you know, you, you will know the difference immediately. Again, the other islands, they might do it more as a barbecue chicken and maybe with a more of a barbecue sauce. Some do it with a, with a slightly shut, with slightly different spices. So there's no one way, there's no one right or wrong way, but you know, either way, it, it all tastes pretty good. Thank you very much for listening. And I hope this um, piques your interest and maybe you want to investigate further on your own. Um, 
I've enjoyed talking to you and enjoyed talking about food, which I talk about all the time. Um, most of these items now can be bought in most major supermarkets up and down the country. But as we're based in Colchester, if you want to try Jamaican, authentic Jamaican food, there's the SNS Caribbean Cafe, 39 St. John Street. Also, just on Queen Street, there is an African food shop called Food Choice, which you'll be able to get most of all of these dishes, the spices, the ackee, etc, etc, to buy. And there are various other shops around the town. But in most Tesco's, in most major supermarkets, you'll be able to get these dishes. I really hope this helps. And, um, and I hope that, you know, you'll um, be able to ask questions that, you know, hopefully we can provide more answers for. Thank you very much.